Number 12, for effective internal control, the accounts payable department generally should what? What should payables do? They get this, they get this, they get this, they authorize the payment. They may even prepare the check and then give it to the treasurer who signs the check. Let's see, A, they should stamp, perforate, or otherwise cancel supporting documents after payment is made. Who cancels these after payment is made? The treasurer. B, ascertain that each requisition is approved as to price, quantity, quality. The person who does that is in the purchasing department, not the payables department. C, ascertain that each, uh, C, obliterate the quantity ordered on the receiving department copy. Who obliterates the quantity before they send it over here? That would be purchasing, not payables. D, establish the agreement of the vendor's invoice with receiving report and purchase order. Who established the agreement between this and this and this? That is indeed payables. Hmm, very nice. Very nice, very nice. Number 13, an auditor most likely would assess control risk, risk of material misstatement, at a high level if the payroll department supervisor is responsible for doing what? Well, let's see. Assessing control risk, high. Okay, so here's personnel. As we talked about, we said what? Assessing personnel high. So that means control risk is high. Why? Because reliance is low. We want this to go up. We better do less work. So basically what they're saying is reliance is low. So control risk is high because reliance is low. Why is reliance low? So they're saying what, what of these is bad, right? You can't rely. So an auditor will most likely assess control risk at a high level. That means if the payroll department supervisor is responsible for what? So what should they not do? This is bad. Uh, examine the authorization forms for new employees. What should payroll do? What should they not do? Should payroll, someone gets hired, they then authorize them to be an employee. Shouldn't they send documentation to payroll so payroll can set them up in the system? So should they be able to examine authorization forms for new employees? Not prepare them, but examine them? Sure. Comparing payroll register with original transmittal data, that means batch information that comes out of the computer, out of the system. Should they be able to see that to make sure that what they processed is what the computer spit out? Yeah. Authorizing payroll rate changes for all employees. Should they, who authorizes payroll rate changes? That's personnel, not payroll. Payroll processes the payroll. Personnel authorizes the rate changes. Hiring all subordinate payroll department employees. Well, normally personnel hires HR, but can I hire my subordinate? Can I hire my assistant in my department? Sure, that's not a problem. What is a problem is they should not do this. They should not hire, fire, determine salaries, determine pay rate changes. They should not do that. Personnel should. So what should they not do? Answer C. And does everyone understand the question? What they're saying is, if you assess control risk high, that means reliance is low. That means you can't rely because one of these they shouldn't be doing. Number 14, the purpose of segregating the duties of hiring personnel and distributing payroll checks is to separate the what? Hiring personnel, who does that? Boom. Distributing payroll checks, boom. Authorization from custody. Personnel, treasure. See how I keep it simple? Kiss, keep it simple. Stupid. <laughs> uh, a, authorization of transactions from custody, yeah. B, operational responsibility from record keeping, no. Human resources from controllership, no. Administrative controls from internal, no. Best answer A. Number 15, in meeting the control objectives of safeguarding of assets, which department should be responsible for? Who's in charge of distributing the checks? Who's in charge of custody of unclaimed checks? Remember what we said. And the choices here are treasurer or payroll. So who has distributing the checks? Boom, boom, boom. We distribute the checks to treasurer. Who has custody of unclaimed checks? Treasurer. What do they then do? They then go back to personnel and say, hey, who's Rover Phillip? I don't know if this person exists. So that would be treasurer, treasurer, answer A. Number 16, the auditor may observe the distribution of paychecks to ascertain whether what? Remember earlier I said, as someone's there and they're handing out the checks, what does it tell us? It tells us that what? That person actually exists. They're still a current employee. They have a valid current employee ID. They should be getting paid. If at the end they don't have an ID and we are still left with checks, we go back to personnel and say, who are these people? A, pay rate authorization is properly segregated from operating function? No. Deductions from gross pay are calculated correctly and properly authorized, like let's say they're doing your, your uh, FICA 
uh, your Medicare, those deductions, that's more of a calculation. But having people stand there and pick up checks doesn't tell us that. Um, C, employees of record actually exist and are employed by the client, true. Paychecks agree with payroll register. Again, we have to look at the books and records, not just watching people get their check. Best answer C. Number 17, which of the following departments most likely would approve changes in pay rates and deductions from employees' salaries? Who would normally do that? That would be personnel. Hires, fires, determine salaries. Alan looks at pay rate changes. Boom, personnel. This is authorization, recording, custody comparison. Authorization, recording, custody comparison. All of these should be segregated. Mm -hmm. A, personnel, love it. Treasurer, no. Controller, no. Payroll, no. Best answer is what? A as in attaboy, Apple. Very nice.